I've just made a facial error. I changed my clothing and now the continuity is not there from the last episode. I am so sorry guys. This is another batch recording sesh. Uh, the last episode was a different session. Um, so yeah, we are once again, we are back. We killed a Honix, I think, last episode and we almost died to some lizards on a thing. Um, now, on the way over, we saw some floating things, but I can't actually see them, so maybe they just haven't rendered in... Um, I guess that's the thing, and we're going to try and find them now, hopefully. I think they're over here. Um, though I have absolutely no idea. Uh, we're going to be doing some shrines in this episode, or not, uh, actually doing, oh, there they are. Not doing some shrines, but, uh, activating some, so there's one over there you can just see. There's a stable one just off in the distance above my glider, you can see. Uh, and a couple of us, if we can get, if we can activate, oh, I can't remember how many more. Alright, let's open this, see what's in here. A ruby! Alright, I can deal with that, I can deal with that. If we have a, a quick peek at the map, uh, there are two, oh yeah, there are two there that we could probably do. Uh, I'll need to get up there, like, off camera, because, not gonna lie, they're a bit irritating to get to. Uh, we've got one there, so that's one. Uh, that's two. Uh, three and four, so we've got four there. And uh, we've got six including those two, and then eight including those two. We have one spirit orb currently, so we only need to activate three more. So if we could get those two and maybe two, uh, and maybe another one that isn't these two, then that would be good. I think there's one there actually that I didn't do. That's a quite easy one to get to. Um, I don't have any more markers. I can get rid of these two because, let's face it, I know where both those ones are. So if we set a marker there, boom, that's that's where we're going. Travels bow's badly damaged, no worries. Let's do that one. Right, let's... Uh... There we go. That got him. Got him pretty easy. Uh, oh, there's another guy. He was like... Hell yeah. Right, this should be good. Give me a good weapon. Ice rod... I mean, it's all, it's okay, but like, actually, I mean, I have an ice rod myself. Is it just a regular one? Oh, well then I might... The hell, that was weird. I might as well just drop that one and get the one with a better durability. That seems... <laughs> seems like the only logical thing. Uh, is there a chest on that one down there? Doesn't look like it. Uh, then there's this guy here. I actually cannot shoot this guy. So I've got to go behind him. Boom! Holy God! I didn't think that was going to happen. There's a Korok here. Where There should be a rock somewhere. There's a rock that I can just kind of plop into that position over there. Alright, we got an, we got an ice, an ice rod. I don't really use the rods that much, to be perfectly honest. I used the fire one in the last episode, purely because it was actually useful um, when... What the hell was happening to those two? Purely because it was actually, man, like, useful for killing uh, the fire... No, the ice po? Was it an ice po? Yeah. It was... Oh my god, okay. Uh, the ice po. And that is a thing. I don't know if I explained it in the video. Uh, which way are we going to go? We'll go to the one over here. Oh, the Honix is back. Oh, yeah, because there was a blood moon, so the Honix is back. I'm not fighting the Honix. I cannot be bothered. I'm sorry, and it, I don't think he even has that much, like good items on him. Like the the things he has on him just weren't that good. So I'm gonna completely leave leave him, bypass, and whatever. Uh, actually, that might wake him up. Yeah, that did wake him up. But hopefully, we can get on our horse and just kind of go real quick and get to the desired location. So that's good. And I knew there was a reason for actually having a decent... Uh, oh, how are we going to do this without killing ourselves? Uh, for having... Oh my god, those things are fast. His tongue went mad. For getting the horse armor and stuff. Hopefully you can run through this. Yes, you can. Holy god, there's a guardian. Oh my god, run, run, run. <laughs> oh no. You're going to have to run a bit faster, mate. 
Okay, right, we're on the right track. And there should be another bridge over there. Oh, God. Guardian, do not shoot my horse. I don't want my horse to die. Okay. Gone, God, Plimina. Oh, great, this is an electric pole. Brilliant, that's fantastic. Here's the route out. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you really need to get that stamina upgrade because this is really not good. You know, I guess I could try and kill it, but... Uh, I don't think he... Oh, my God. I don't think he follows the path. Actually, I don't even need to follow the path. I'm not too sure why I was doing that. Right, is this the kind of right direction? Yeah, this is the right direction. We'll go over here. It'll all be good. The goat, the goat. No, goat, goat the horse. Sorry, not goat the goat. There's another lightning pose. Anyway, what I was talking about with the pose, uh, and actually any enemy that has uh, elemental base, if you attack it with anything that is the opposite elemental to it, so if it's a ice one and you use something fire related, so a fire sword or a fire rod in my case, uh, then it will instantly kill it no matter what. Um, where is it? It's just follow this path over here. Uh, and if it's a fire one and you use an ice RA and use an ice uh, based thing, it will instantly kill it. I'm not too sure about electric ones. I haven't come across a instant kill with those. I don't know what would, because there's only three elemental things in the game, which is fire, ice, and, and electric. So, I'm not 100% sure how lightning one ones work, but I guess there might be something. I don't know. I've never tried it. Maybe just regular weapons. Maybe wooden ones just do a lot. I wouldn't have thought so. Right, where is the actual... Oh, it's... Wait, what the hell? Where actually is the shrine? Oh, there it is. Found it. We found it. Oh, it's the bird guy. I'm going to talk to this bird guy real quick, because he actually, like, opens up a load of uh, quests for us. Great, you know, that there, on your hip. No, I'm sorry, it's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Are you a bird? Have you never met a Rito before? Odd. Actually, yeah, this is the first time we've actually come across a Rito. That's fair enough. Uh, my name is Kaz. I'm a bard. And I spend my days travelling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs, you say? Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praise of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. One of the more famous among those re uh, re recounts of the events of 10,000 years ago. Uh, I happen to know a song of the ancient hero that was passed down. Would you care to listen to it? I will listen to it, but I will skip it because I'm pretty sure this is a cutscene. Uh, and we don't want to, it's, it's the same as the Impa one, um, which was, I did skip, but at the same time, it's easy found online, it's just a history of everything. Uh, thank you for listening, please come back and hear it again sometime. So now we've actually been introduced to Carl's, uh, I think we actually get, like, a bunch of, um, what was this guy? I'm pretty sure this guy was in Kakariko. I'm a painter, you see. I'm traveling in the world of such a beautiful scenery. They say the most beautiful spots in the world are the places called the Great Fairy Fountains. Yeah, this guy is in uh, is in Kakariko. Um, and I think I decided not to do a quest. Um, yeah, we ran right past him. I don't know if I'll put the, the clip of me running right past him saying, Oh no, I'll do it another time. But, hey! It's Hetsu! I forgot, oh yeah, I knew there was a second place that he turned up before Kakariko, if... If you go to Kakariko, uh, the, the forest, like, uh, for, not the Kakariko forest, uh, the Korok forest beforehand, then he'll just go there, but if you're not, if you don't have that place unlocked, then you'll meet him here. That's cool, we meet again! I want to go home to Korok forest, but I've lost my way. According to the folks at the stable, this area is the Lanayru region. Shashaka, that means Korok forest is still north of here. Well, since I'm already here, I might as well stay a while and relax. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I detect the scent of Korok seeds. You've received a Korok seed from the children of the forest, haven't you? Uh, if you give me a Korok seed, I will make one of your stashes bigger. Which one will it be? I think we upgraded one of each last time, so we're going to go weapon just because we end up with a lot of weapons. Um, and you see, what we can do is do another one of each. Or we could get two weapons, one bow. Should I think we can do that anyway. Genuinely having more weapons is good. Da, 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 da. I like how they do that. A bit of a bit of a four four break, but you know, whatever. Eisenbahn, yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, 
Do, do, do. Let's see how much a weapon is, because it might be three. Yeah, okay, it is three. Fair enough. Uh, later on, with upgrades, it actually gets a bit more. It, it doesn't just go up one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Uh, it skips some, and it gets really irritating. But it, regardless of, of that, yeah, da, 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 yeah, that's all well and good. Uh, and... Uh, now, do I save it, or do I get another bow one? Two Korok seeds. Yeah, I might as well get the bow one, that's fair enough. There you go. Some seeds, let the expansion begin. Nadi da 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 dance, okay, just dance fever. 2018, top marks, amazing. And I mean, we don't really need that many bows, but shields aren't really a big concern either. Fair enough, Hetsu, yay, come back again. Okay, so the next time we see him, he should be in the Korok Forest. Um, but we're going to activate this shrine real quick. Kaiyo Yuan Shrine, or something or other. Hell yeah, okay, so that is one of them. We shall get rid of this pin, I don't need that anymore. Um, right, so still that one to do, and there is still that one. And that will leave us, uh, yeah, with one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've already got one, I'm just actually confirming that in case I'm being dumb. Yeah, we've got one. So, with that, let's get the last two. So, one of them is back down here. I'm going to use the tower to get to that one, because it can be a bit annoying actually getting over to. Um, let's get back on our horse, and let's get this situation rolling. That, and it also means that we can just teleport back to the area, because we're going to the flower one first. And since we're near the flower one, and there isn't really that many teleport points nearby, it just makes things a lot easier. So let's go over this way. I don't think it's overly far. It's a little campfire there. Someone's got something going. Another thing I want to do is I want to get the other part of the upgrade armor for the horse so that it just... Stamina and stuff just gets better. Oh, and this, let's help these guys. Hell yeah. I... Oh my god, I don't have a fairy. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I forgot I don't have a fairy. I forgot. I, I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm so sorry, people. I don't have a fairy and I don't really want to be wasting my items. I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> I feel so bad, but I completely forgot I don't have any fairies or anything. And I will genuinely die if I attack, though. If, if I actually get attacked. So, um, I should probably have some food. Um, uh, that'll f give me full, that'll give me full as well. Yeah, I'll have the best. Oh, that makes me feel so bad, because I actually wanted to help. Maybe, what weapon could I have used? I'll get the scimitar, because uh, it's a small weapon, and I prefer those weapons. So, it's just continue on this path? Yeah, it is, this is one. Coolio! I don't think I've ever come across this path, not come across this path, but actually gone on this path. This may be a first for me. Well, would you look at that? Oh my god, he lit he just flew into me. Wow, that is something else. Right, we're going this way. It's across the water, which is a little annoying. Oh, is that another one over there I can see in the distance? Oh, there is another one there. Oh, it's another stable one. Alright. So let me actually highlight that. Boom, that's another one I can check out in the future. Oh, this is the irritating one because it's a flower it's a flower one and the woman doesn't like you trespassing on the flowers or something. Hell yeah, right, I skipped a little bit of it. You've pretty much just gotta go here. She doesn't want you treading on the flowers, so uh, uh Get the chew jelly. Kill this guy. Chews are quite interesting, because depending on what elemental weapon you kill it with, it will become that type of jelly. It's quite cool, actually. Um, I can't... I don't remember particular use... Oh, see, that's a little tricky one, because they put one right in the damn centre. Hell did you grow shrine or something or other. Okay, awesome. Right. So that's that one done. Now we need to go to last one. We need to teleport back up to the Laneru Tower, get that one, and then we can spend some time getting these shrines. It'll be tasty. Tasty indeed. And we're back on the Nehru Tower, we need to go over here, let's jump off. Duh, na, 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 na. Duh, duh. Amazing, that was, uh, 
That was great. You know, I really want some of my coffee that I've got here in my little uh, my little camera lens flask here. It's pretty nifty, I will admit. Um, you see, that's the that's the shrine right over there, and it's not an overly difficult one to get to, though it did take me a while to get it because I didn't understand that you could burn the things that are are uh, that are like surrounding it. Uh, you can't really see from here, but there are like spikes you know, in the the tower where I decided it'd be a good idea to jump into those spikes and then subsequently fall off the cliff. Uh, that is pretty much covering it. Who is this geezer? We've got we've got a bananas. Oh no! Oh no! This guy's Yiga. I think this I think this guy's a Yiga. He's talking about bananas. Yeah, he so is. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy is a Yiga. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, as, as soon as he started talking about bananas, like, oh god, now here we go again. The hell? Hey, there's a Gerudo there. Well, that was pathetic. I'll take your sickle. I'll take the banana anyway. There's a Drudo here. Let's talk to the Drudo. That's the way. Never give an inch. Help me. Wait, what the hell? I wasn't helping you. The, the guy just... Oh, my God. It was kind of obvious also because of his face. Are you actually going to tell anything? The Drudo, remember that name? Uh, yeah, we know about this stupid rule. It's kind of dumb. You're not going to say anything else? Okay, fair enough. Right, I'm going to get these little crab. And that, oh, no, I missed it, apparently. Bright-eyed crab! This crab appears in large numbers when it rains. It's not raining, so I don't know why it's here, but, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway. Oh, God, yeah, the Yiga have a, a weird obsession with bananas. I'm not 100% sure if, it ex if, it, if that's explained in-game. I really don't know. Um, uh, so, yeah, that is effectively that. Um, see, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get to this... Um, get to this shrine, so I guess the only thing that I can say for the time being is, uh, stay tuned.